this week on uh, Handyman Corner. Going to show you how you can uh, make some furniture. Uh, we need some uh, chairs here up the lodge because uh, some of our old furniture is uh, really killing us insurance. And we got a recliner rocker here that's just unbelievable. But uh, rather than switch to the uh, no fault system, uh, what we thought we'd do is, uh, is buy a couple of chairs. Well, I went and looked at them. Some of them are upwards, 1995, 20 bucks even. <laughs> that's what we pay for cars, you know. So uh, I thought, well, heck, let's make our chairs, you know. And uh, to do that, all we would need is a lathe. Now, a lathe is going to cost you six or seven hundred bucks, which we could get, a, say, a bus or a motor home for. So instead of that, I'm going to show you how you can make your own lathe. All you need is a, a drill. Take your power drill, stick it into a vise. This is going to save you a heck of a lot of money, believe me. Okay, so maybe you don't have a vise, huh? Or maybe you don't even have a drill. So you're saying, well, how much is this going to save me? You know, uh, well, I'll tell you what, uh, a lathe is a lot cheaper uh, than, than a vise and a drill put together. Plus, with a drill, look at all the things you can do with it. You can, uh, you can drill, you can, you can screw, you can, you can mix, you can puree, you can sand, you can grind. You can just take a Sunday morning and just sit at home spinning things around while the family's at church. <laughs> Whereas with a lathe, all you can do is lay them, you know, except I guess you could stand on it as a platform when you're painting the ceiling. So you put this in pretty good here. Oh. Oh, and I, I may have... Uh, okay, okay. But a lathe is still going to cost you more than, say, a vice and two drills. Just uh, tighten this up quickly before uh, Moose Thompson notices that his drill's missing. Okay, now we need our wood uh, that we're going to do our lathing on. Uh, this is a beautiful piece of uh, teak. We're going to make a teak chair. This is going to be one of the legs. So what i got to do is uh, just put a nail on the top there to hold her. Need a hammer. Well, well, just use a bit of that old drill. Like I told you. <laughs> drill is a very versatile tool. Oh, there's the hammer. <sighs> All right, now we uh, put this uh, into, our, into our drill, or should I say, our lathe. <laughs> Tighten that up. Oh, yeah. See how you're getting a feel for this now? And now I just need the chuck key. Oh, I go through chuck keys like pencils and hammers. Unbelievable. I buy them by the gross, you know. This here will last me about uh, three months. Okay. All right, now, for our speed control, uh, I got this. Uh, I'm going to put that in my pocket. For our speed control, uh, I got this uh, thing off my wife's sewing machine, never been used. And then uh, this will uh, turn our uh, drill into a, not only a lathe, but a variable speed lathe. So plug the drill into the pedal and uh, plug the pedal up. Yep. And, uh, okay, so we take this uh, metal bracket and uh, I put a nail on this end of the wood now and uh, we just line that up there, fit that through there, and that'll hold her steady. Now, we want that uh, bracket held onto the bench, so just use my uh, power screwdriver here and you want to really horse this down good because uh, you don't want this thing coming off at 3,000 RPM going through your skull. No chair is worth that. Unless it was... No, no, not even then. <laughs> okay, that's good. That looks good. Now just uh, check this other end here. Uh, tighten that up good. Where's that chuck key? Hmm? Oh. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Who put that in there? All right. Oh! All right, and the holder. And just one last thing, just a comment on, on eye protection. You know, you only have two eyes. Take care of them. Okay. We're ready to go, so uh, let's make some fine furniture. Now we would we'd, we would uh, carve that down while it was spinning next time, and uh, then you'd make three more, uh, just like it. And then uh, another time, maybe next week or whatever, uh, we'll uh, we'll make ourselves the seat for this thing. But <laughs> anyway, uh, until next time, uh, remember: if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy.
The first episode of Red Green's brand new Possum Lodge podcast is streaming now. Listen in as Red turns a K car into a hot tub heater. Oh, baby, that feels good. Reconnect with your favorite characters from Red's TV show. Characters like Ranger Gord. You know, I've been here almost 30 years and not one forest fire, Red. Not one. Mm -hmm. Does that sound like a coincidence to you? Pretty much. Or Dalton Humphrey, formerly of Humphrey's Everything Store, who is now coaching kids hockey. What time is it exactly? It's 4.17 a.m. Oh. And I'm sure you all remember Winston Rothschild from Rothschild Sewage and Septic Sucking Services. Kind of unusual for me to be here on a work day, especially right after Rib Fest. Oh, yeah. And, of course, Red's nephew, Harold. <laughs> I can't believe it! <laughs> and you'll meet Flinty McClintock's 12-year-old son, Tommy. The plugs look pretty new, so it's either a carburetor problem or the points are burnt out. Hmm, don't think so. Really? Have you ever worked on a motorized vehicle of any kind? No, I haven't, but I read the manual, and this car doesn't have a carburetor or points. It's fuel injected with electronic ignition. Plus, you'll hear mail call and advice from Red, and you'll get to attend a Possum Lodge meeting. Just go to redgreen.com, click the podcast link, and become a subscriber. You can get on board for as little as a buck a month, and you can cancel at any time. But you probably won't. Remember, the women don't find you handsome. They should at least find you handy. <laughs>